Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to BMS and have questions about the DTC, this video is for you. Understanding the DTC is vital when it comes to having a high level situation awareness or SA while flying. It is the only way you could quote unquote draw on your HSD, the horizontal situation display. Falcon BMS does not have a F10 map. So continue watching the video to learn about the DTC in Falcon BMS. I'm sure you have questions about the DTC in Falcon BMS. I will go over the threat circles, how to make them, steer lines, target assignments, and the click dance that is needed for every mission before you get into 3D. This tutorial will work in tactical engagement and campaign when it comes to DTC, but for this example I will use campaign. So it'll work with any campaign, so I'm going to choose a campaign, going to be the first one here, going to click commit. So first thing you should do when you get into the 2D screen is do your click dance. Make sure you click the flight that you want, click the seat that you want, and then you need to perform the click dance, which updates all your COM frequencies and your IFF codes. The first thing you do is go to COM, press COM plan, press IFF, press IFF plan, press save. Remember, before you do a click dance, make sure you're in the right flight and the right seat. Now you can start editing your 2D map. So first thing I usually do is create a line of the friendly, the friendly forces. So I go, I right click, go to steer point lines. I use steer point or one. I put that one there because it's red and blue. So I put the second one somewhere over here. Go to steer point lines, additional point one. Put that there because it needs to it needs to to bend. Put another one here. Put one over here as well. Put another one here. Put one there. And then once you're out, it actually goes gray. You cannot make any more in steer point one. If you run out of steer point one, you could use steer point two. And you can do the same thing. They don't connect, but you could move these anywhere to let them make them connect and continue on your your steer point or your steer line making. To delete one, you right click on it, press remove, right click on it, press remove. Since I did that change, I'm gonna do another click dance. Com, com plan, IFF, IFF plan, press save. So now this line is in my DTC if I go into 3D right now. So now I want to map all of this, all the SAMs, these little boxes with the the U shape in it that's all the SAM so you can right click on it go to status it tells you it's SA2 so you can right click go to set pre-plan threat steer point then you you click on it a left click click on it steer point or a SA2 you can choose whatever you want in this case it's SA2 press accept and you can move around this box and it'll come up on your MFD in the pit let's go over here look what this is it's SA3 so right click, go to set th steer point, click on it, drop down SA3, accept, and move it over. So usually I do that, I do all of my steer points, press data cartridge, do my click dance again, and save. There's only a certain amount of circles you could do once you run out. This will be gray and you won't be able to set any more steer point circles. Let's say that we're in a strike package and we're going to strike this airbase here. So you go over to the airbase or whatever object you're you're going after you right click on that object right click press recon this will recon and give you a, a reconnaissance type view of the airfield put this down here zoom out a little bit so i could see so this is the airbase press this plus button to let the drop down menu and there's these uh there's these targets here that you could choose from so usually i go here I hear my de designate as steer point as target steer point. I go backwards to go to 99. So now you can set all your steer points. So 99 will be this one. Make sure you click on it. Click that. Press accept. Go back one. Click the next one. Press accept. Go up to 97. Click it. Press accept. And you can keep going all the way until 81. So you could put in uh, a lot of steer points in there. And you use that when you get in the game, just set up your steer point to whatever steer point you're using. And it'll be this steer point as long as your INS has been uh, aligned. So after you do that, to verify your targets, you go to your DTC, click this as well. Go to targets, go backwards to 99. It says there's the airbase there, there's an, our airbase runway there, runway, and it keeps going all the way down to that 81 that I said, and you could verify what the actual nomenclature is of that target so here's your harm page not going to go over this in too much detail make sure you put in your applicable ALIC codes based on what Sam you're going after once you do all of that make sure you press save and uh, do your click dance all again so you make sure that you have everything in your DTC so 
So in, on the data cartridge page, there's some buttons down here. I don't click clear. I never click reset because this resets your entire cartridge, resets all your MFDs, all of your EW chaff and flare programs. It resets literally everything. I would not recommend clicking reset. Clicking load is if you need to load a data cartridge from either the last mission or a mission that you replaced the INI file. You can press load on this screen and it should pop up. And then save is of course the save. In the comm plan here, there's an easy shortcut to do. So since you're usually always on UHF-2, which is the tower frequency, I usually go to UHF-2, preset 2, press the default here, press save. It'll save it as your default. I go to VHF. Usually you're on Victor 15 for the first flight. So instead of having to change it every single time, you can press the default as for, press the default, and it'll set up as your de default at when you load your DTC. Also, when you hop in using taxiway it'll be your default and you press save so always remember to do your click dance before you go into 3d especially if your timer is running your iff codes can change based on what time it is in game so that's the dtc in a nutshell hopefully you learned something and hopefully that can get you started real quick if you want to see more make sure you subscribe leave a comment down below if you have a question and i'll see you in the next one